wish you were here. I wish I could send you a postcard. <laughs> Grenada has some of the best and most beautiful beaches in the whole of the Caribbean. And today we're exploring Karakou. We're gonna be looking at whether or not Karakou is worth visiting or is it worth just staying on Grenada? So let's get into it. And so we've just been picked up by GTA, the Grenada Tourism Board, Pure Grenada, as we are about to head over to Karyaku from St. George. I think everybody got the same idea to go to Karyaku today. Everyone on the island, maybe? We made it onto the Osprey Cruise, which is the boat that is taking us from St. George over to Karyaku. You ready for an hour and a half of waves? <laughs> Wow, guys, that was a whole thing. I'm really glad to be off that boat, and I'm glad that we got through that trip. <laughs> Let's go. Nice to meet you. Rachel's riding shotgun because we don't want another episode of I'm about potentially. To throw up. Potentially. <laughs> so, one mode of transport to the next. Let's go. We just made one quick stop off to. Harvey Vale, and this is a local school with lots of lovely kids. Hello! Hi! Hi! Hi. 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 So cute, so adorable. But the interesting thing about this school is it used to be known as the Great House, where the owner of the plantation was able to look over at all of his slaves working down in the valley and just make sure that they were all working. They're very well trained. Yeah, see, I was never that happy at school. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like I need to re-enroll. We have just learned that this house right here has withstood so many different hurricanes. Actually, some of the newer buildings have been destroyed by it. This one's still standing. Mind blown. I've just found out why it was so rocky, Rachel, on that boat. Basically, that massive rock in the distance, under there is an underwater volcano. Interesting, but that is where the Caribbean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean both meet, and that is why it's really wavy. That's a fun fact. Fun fact. Not so fun to be on it, though. It's terrific. <laughs> Bring travel sickness, or of course, a sick bag. We are just driving past a white cedar tree, which the wood from that tree is used to make the boats that we're gonna be seeing at the boatyard later in this video, so stick around. Now, as we're driving through Karakou, one thing I am noticing is it does seem a lot, lot quieter here, a lot more relaxing and quite tranquil, if I'm honest. Beaches, beautiful. Lifestyle out here, beautiful. I'm really enjoying it so far. So as we're driving through Karakou, you can actually see these little trees called Kashi trees and they've got like spikes on them. These trees were taken from Africa and used in the plantations to stop the slaves from escaping and keeping them inside the estate. If you guys are looking for gas in Karakou, bear in mind there is only one gas station. It's this one right here. Guys, so our next stop is Hospital Point here in Bel Air, which is the only hospital here in Karakou. And we've not come for the hospital or the beautiful flamboyant tree, which is the national tree here of Karakou. But actually, we've come for these spectacular views over Hillsborough, which is the only town in the whole of Karakou. It consists of two avenues and six streets. And the reason that it got its name Hillsborough is after the owner of the plantation, Lord Hillsborough. And we can see his house house just in the distance. Sandy Island. Sandy Island. Sandy Island is that picturesque beach that we are visiting later. You can see it in the distance. Really, really excited for that. That is going to be the highlight, one of them at least. And right by the hospital, you'll find the Bel Air windmill, which again is another reminder of the past here. It would be used to crush the sugar cane and extract the sugar. Guys, we have just made another stop off 
to see the northern part of the island and wow this is an absolutely spectacular view. Here we can actually see Petit Martinique which belongs to Grenada and right next to it we've got Petit Vincent which is owned by the Grenadines and St Vincent. I have just learned that this is called the blue agave and did you know that they actually make tequila from this plant? We need to take some home. Directly behind me we've got the ruins of one of the plantation owner's homes. Now this family actually still live here. You can actually see how it's been destroyed from the hurricanes but it is, you know, a stern reminder. Really bad history. Guys, I did just have to make one quick stop off. This is a cistern and pretty much all the houses here in Karakou actually have one and that is because everyone on the island actually has their own water supply. That's for drinking, showering, cleaning, so no water bills. But sometimes shortage of water. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So guys, we've come to Main Street on in Hillsborough because we are stopping off at D for diving because we need to get some snorkeling equipment and some fins ready for our snorkeling trip over to Sandy Island, which is just in the distance. So come on in. Let's go. And so for lunch, guys, we are actually eating here at Paradise Beach Club. But the reason I wanted to show you this is actually because of Paradise Beach. This beach was actually ranked the top beach in the whole of the Caribbean. They've even got a Paradise Beach Club Wall of Fame where all of the cruisers will come on a Wednesday. The Paradise Beach Club will provide them with the wood and the paint and these guys will go and paint their own sign and put it on the wall. Lunch here is a vibe. Great red snapper, delicious. We got a good salad. Fresh. Fresh, she loves that word. But that's because it is. Because why wouldn't it be? Look, we've got the sea right next to us. Paradise Beach, basically in paradise. And so to get to Sandy Island, we are taking our own private water taxi. And to book these, you can do that by literally booking them directly at the Paradise Beach Club. It takes only five minutes to get over there. Or if you have your own yacht or private charter of some sort, that's also another way of getting over there. Guys, we have just made it to Sandy Island, the beautiful, beautiful, iconic, picturesque island that you've heard, you've seen in postcards, and we finally made it. We're only here for a short trip, but it is absolutely stunning here. You could easily spend a full day here or longer. So what do you think of uh, Sandy Island? I mean, what's there not to love? I mean, it is unbelievable here. What do you think? Why is this one not called Paradise Beach? Yeah, this is also <laughs> paradise. Look at this water. The sea is so blue, crystal clear, turquoise. Just oh. perfection. I wish you were here. I wish I could send you a postcard. <laughs> it is perfect for snorkeling. So let's head in the water. Guys, it is time to leave Sandy Island. It's been absolutely unbelievable. Some of the best snorkeling that I've ever done. So five minutes back to the island, and then we've got 10 minutes until the boat leaves to go back to Grenada. I think we're gonna miss it, but we need to run. Go, 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 ah! go, go. Oh my God, bone's oh. gone. Okay. Let's go, Captain. Run, 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 run. Oh, we're gonna miss it. Three minutes until the boat goes back to Grenada. Oh, yeah, I will do, I will do. Have you got my bag? Literally, got my bag, thank you yeah, so much. Okay. I'm Rina. Ah, oh, <laughs> wow. come again. We made it happen, we made it work. Yeah. That was Karaku. But now, we need to get back to Grenada because that bus, that water taxi, that boat is not waiting for us. <laughs> Let's go. All right, bye-bye, see bye -bye. you later. Thank see you for coming, we had a great time. Until we meet again. <laughs> this is ridiculous. We're literally going in our swimming <laughs> costume. 
We did it. We did it. Just in time. That was not fun. Did we just do the whole of Karaku in less than six hours? I can't believe it. Did we do that? Yeah. We are back to base, St. George's. And you're welcome. Let's go. And so after a really busy, hectic day of lots and lots of travel in Karaku, we've come to Coconut Beach Bar on Grand Aunt's Beach to watch the sunset. It is absolutely stunning here. Rachel's doing a little bit of meditation. There's people running, exercising, and it is just stunning to just chill, look at the boats, um, and maybe have a drink here after a really busy day. And also, it's just about a five minute drive, 15 minute walk from our hotel at Blue Horizon. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like button down there and also consider subscribing if you want to see more from the channel. Also check out this playlist right here if you want to see more from the Grenada playlist. But as always, I will see you in the next one.